Hello and welcome to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish and today we're going to be discussing of the upcoming horror games and also what games you should play this Halloween of 2021. There's going to be a lot of cool ones coming out and there is some awesome gems which are in the corners of the Steam library. And uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at some of the games. Lost in Vivo is a Silent Hill style first person horror game. During the storm your dog is forced down to a broken sewer drain and you'll find the nearest sewer entrance to run after it. Along the way you'll meet others that are also stricken by the abnormal and psychological fear. Now this game I have played and it is absolutely unique. It has so much Silent Hill vibes to this game. Um, it's a first person shooter as well as a beat them up as well with the weapons and um, there are some almost fourth wall breaking things and there is some proper scary atmospheric style to this game which I really love the most um, it has like, some jump scares but if you like your sign hill you know what kind of feel you'll get with a psychological jump scare horror game and this is definitely the best horror game to play this Halloween if you haven't played it it's a great game and it's pretty reasonable price as well with multiple endings it's a it's a steal man So Ghost Hunt Corp is a scary horror game, up to 4 player co-op. If you like your plasmophobia, this has so much new experience of this kind of plasmophobia. You can get chased by the ghosts, you can either perform an exorcist on them, and also find the occult items. Uh, there's lots to do in each Ghost Hunt Co-op. There are lots of new places to explore from Japan to Germany to Pennsylvania and many more. Constant updates will be added on here which has loads of new content with loads of new disposal of ghost gear and also exorcism. This game is really fun and we've had a good laugh on it and I hope to do a review on this very soon. And now we're over to the Dungeon Nightmare series. Um, as you may notice, if you are an MGM fan, you know I've done a review on Dungeon Nightmares 3. Dungeon Nightmares 1 is free on the websites of games, I guess, like uh, Game Jolt and all that. But Dungeon Nightmares 2 and 3 are on Steam, and I tell you what, it is one hell of a ride. And a constant jump scares and some stuff that is very unpredictable. You'll be walking around a maze trying to find your way out. And you'll also find evidence and the key to get out and also explore more things out of the dungeons. Um, there are some scary stuff on this game and it's not for the faint of hearted. Um, if you like your jump scares and you also like a good scare and some freakiness and you don't know what's behind the corner, this game is perfect for you. Of course is Project Zero or in America Fatal Frame. The new one is coming out this year and I've heard rumors that it'll be out in October time which is going to be amazing because the fifth one came out on the Wii now they're remastering it on the next gen and possible PC. Um, this game is perfect for every horror fan and if you haven't got an emulator I would suggest to try and get one for the old Project Zeros because you ain't gonna find any as I've said on last year but the reason why I'm doing it again this year is because of the fifth one that is coming out and this fifth one looks amazing uh, with with new storyline and new locations um, I cannot wait for this game to play I, and, and, and I hope it comes out in October as uh, as everyone has suspected for it to come out because this is going to be my stream for this game. 
Equipped with a camera, you have to go and take photos of ghosts to trap their souls and set them free. Um, there are some horrible backstory to some of them, and there is also some, like, side quests you can do on the new Project Zero. And I, I would strongly recommend, if this does come out, IF this does come out this Halloween, you need to get it. I'm not even joking. This, this, this game is going to be one of those games that everyone's going to be buying. A locked door that traps you inside it. But once you find the key to your terror, fear will no longer exist. What a bunch of bullshit. game I am waiting for in September the 28th, and that is In Sound Mind. In Sound Mind is an imaginative first-person psychological horror with some crazy puzzles, unique boss fights, and also the music composer by the Living Tombstone. It is going to be insane. If you guys haven't seen any of it, go and look it up. If you've got a PC, I would suggest to play the demo because, oh my god, two hours long per for a demo was insane and all the unique scares they've done and also the unique freakiness in that game uh, oh my god yeah, it is it is gonna be a good game from what I've played on the demo uh, this has me excited for all years till it comes out and September the 28th 2021 this will be out and I can swear to god you will have a good time at this And that is my top five. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll be playing some of these games. We, those games are absolutely insane, and if you're looking for a decent horror game to play, which would be good, or you're looking for somewhere to live stream or even record, these games will be best for you guys. I'm Cornish signing out. You take care and have a wonderful day.